When they had come together, the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way you saw him go to heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John, and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James's son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. Hi guys, and welcome back to Bright Lights. This week, we're going to be making your very own cloud. For this, you will need a jug of hot water, it, not straight from the um, kettle, but maybe just from the tap, heated up, a glass jar, um, some matches that you'll need some adult help with, and some ice. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So what you want to do first is pour the water into the glass jar. And then this is the adult bit. Take the, get your adult to take the match and light it. And then drop it into the glass jar with water. And then quickly cover it up. This way, you to place the um, ice onto the jar. We used the top of one of our pack lunch boxes, so you can do that. And what you want to do is just wait a minute, so all the cloudiness—that's obviously a word—can get to the um, top and do science. So what's going on in here then, guys? So what we've got in this jar now is our very own cloud. And if you put a bit of sky behind it, you can start to see that cloud happening. And what's happened inside the jar is all the invisible water vapour that was rising up has stuck onto little particles of smoke from our match and then when it's got cold and condensed, it's stuck to all the little bit of, of smoke in the sky and we've made our very own cloud. And that's exactly the kind of thing that happens in the sky normally. So if we take the lid off, we may now have our very own cloud. Amazing.
So this week's reading sounded like a little bit of a magical experience and we've seen a little bit more magic in our bright lights today, but have we got any questions about it? So what did the angels mean when they said, you will see Jesus return the same way you've seen him going up? Okay, so they're like, they're watching him disappear off and he's going to be with God and he's going to be in heaven. So what do they mean when he's going to come back? Well, there's a lot of stuff in the Bible that says that one day Jesus will come back and make everything right and God will restore everything. And at that point, Jesus will be looking to see whether or not we've been following all the commands he gave us to love people and love each other. So right at the end of everything, Jesus is going to come back and see how we've been doing. We've got any more questions? What did he mean by you'll get power from on high? Aha! This is talking about Pentecost, which is going to be next week. And the disciples, we leave them this week, they all go back to the room and they're all waiting and praying and waiting to see what power they're going to get. And when the power of the Holy Spirit came, they suddenly found they were able to run out and tell everybody about God and about Jesus and what had been happening. And they were able to do it in all kinds of different languages. So we have a Pentecost challenge for you. We'd like you, wherever you are in the world, if you're here in Dunedin, in New Zealand or anywhere else, we want you to send us a Pentecost greeting. So it can be a, hi everyone, here we all are, or it can be a happy Pentecost from us here in wherever. And we'd like you to do it in a language that is not English. So that could be your own native language, or it could be a language you've learned. And then we're going to put them all together to show people the power of the Holy Spirit speaking loads of different languages. So send them in to us on our Facebook. You can send us a message uh, and you can tell us where you are and who you are and give us your greeting. And we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye bye. Dear God, as we watch the crowds, we thank you for the earth that we live on. We pray that we can learn to look after it. As we watch the crowds, we think of your love for us and pray we use the many gifts you have given us. As we watch the crowds, we remember our loved ones in heaven and pray for those who are mourning. As you were taken into the clouds, you told us you, you would always be with us. Help us to remember to pray and tell you what's on our minds each day. Amen. So we hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure to tune in next week and bye. Thank you.